Hi Cat. In this video I will explain how to create a new contact form with UFU forms and uh, embed it into a website. So we are logging in. And the easiest way here is to just copy existing contact form and modify that accordingly to your needs. Uh, let's say that we are using the uh, personal image system uh, contact form. So I'm just uh, trying to find via search that exact form. So this is one system, personal image system contact form. So whenever I put the cursor over that, there are several options appear just underneath that. And the option that I want to choose here is duplicate. Once I click that, there will be a new form created. Yep. Where is that? One moment, please. Let's find it. Okay, I'm deleting everything from the filter here. And going back to the list of all the forms created, and they are now sorted by date created here, you see. Here it is. So the form that we just duplicated, located at the very top, calling system, personal image system, copy. And let's click to edit that. So the one that we want to create called, should be called uh, personal image formula, right? So we want to rename it. And you see, uh, we have a lots of tool tips. So whenever you hover over any of the elements, uh, a small tip appears. In this case, this click to edit. So we click to edit. In, in order to edit, you need to switch to the very top. So this area is being edited at the left here. So whenever we change anything here, the changes will appear to the right. Okay. So I don't need a system here, and we call it personal image formula contact form, right? There's a limited uh, number of characters, so we better to delete them first. So contact form. Okay, you may play with that, adding different elements to here. You see, we have here add field. You may play with that several fields like single line text, address, email, website, file upload. So we can easily drag and drop anything in here, okay? Or delete it from here. Uh, how we delete it? We just click on that and then, yeah, just click minus. Uh, also, we have so added field, field settings. And we have also form settings. So on the form settings, we have the name, and we also have uh, the message that will appear on the screen whenever they submit the form. So in this case, whenever somebody sends a message via this form, they will see success. Thank you for filling out our form. And we can add, we will be in touch soon. Okay. Or we can redirect to another website. This is a little bit advanced, but uh, generally we want to uh, show a piece of text whenever somebody submits the form. Okay, it's pretty much ready. So we click Save Form. Share this form, continue edit it, send an email. I'm finished. Okay, let's go back to Form Manager. So we've got this beautiful form created. Now we want to embed it to the website. How we do that? Again, we hover over. Then we go to share. Okay. Before that, we want to double check that the rules, or no, not the rules, but notifications are set up correctly. So whenever some uh, submits that form you will receive the email notification about that and actually the text of the contact message. So in this case, this is armorestyle at gmail.com. Okay? So there is where all the emails go from this form. We, or you may want to add 
via comma any email address that you want here to appear Antonio at realman real style etc or your personal email address doesn't matter once you've done that just click save and we want to go back to forms okay now we want to embed it into the website as soon as this is personal image formula we want to open personal image formula website and find an appropriate place where we want to insert that form so in this case it's contact right so we click contact and we click right now you see that it's using system personal image system contact form and we want that to be personal image formal contact form we click edit page now we go back to woofer forms highlight the personal image formula nearly created form and we go to share button let's click share button and we want to embed that with javascript or embed with iframe maybe on wordpress let me see it actually doesn't matter much so as soon as this is recommended way to embed your form we just copy over all this code click in copy code going back to the page that we want to edit and we want to make sure that our visual editor is switched to text here not the visual but the text otherwise it will not be working so if you have a visual active switch to the text now we want to highlight the old form delete it and just paste the code that we just copied from Wufo and click update the message uh, update the post once it's updated let's see the changes that appear yeah now it's personal image formula contact form and it's ready so that's the way how we create and embed the form into the website thank you bye